So hey everybody, I'm just giving a little update on the chicks. Uh, they are now 10 days old. Um, just a fair warning, if y'all get one of these kind of heaters to keep them warm, get you one of those cones that goes on there so they can't get on top because that is a pain to clean every freaking day, twice a day or more. Um, I have one coming, but uh, <laughs> it's a pain right now. Uh, as I said in the last video, I've been putting my water and their food up on platforms. And it seems to be helping some. I mean, they're still getting some wood chips in the water. Uh, that's why I don't fill the jug all the way up. I just fill it about a quarter of the way up. That way when it gets dirty, I'm not wasting so much. Um, this thing here, they love to fill it full of uh, wood chips, but it's really easy to just pop the lid open, scrape the wood chips off the top, toss them back in, and, and they go back to eating it. Um, I had to make a double. I had a single in here um, because uh, the, the chicks are getting so big. Um, they were just eating that little cup full in no time. So Kim stopped by the store yesterday and picked up those... Uh, little trays right there they actually have snap caps and sides on them i took those off and and cut about a board on my bandsaw and put those in there but if you look man look 10 days old look at the feathers on these things they are just wow i i, I never imagined chickens growing so fast i mean their tail feathers are coming in really good look at that Tail feathers are coming in really good they're all doing fantastic i still have 26 i have not lost one um, I have noticed them pecking on each other a little bit. Um, this is uh, a 250 gallon tank and I think it's a little too small for them. So I'm working on my truck right now, but once I get my truck fixed, uh, I am going to uh, build them a uh, brooder down in the lower end of the house here. Um, that'll be much bigger and I'll put a lid on it with some uh, hardware cloth and stuff so they can't fly out because these guys these young ladies I have seen them fly from this all the way across the land all the way at the other side already 10 days old they were doing it yesterday flying all the way across this thing um, Kim picked one up earlier and it flew out of her hand back down in here um, but they are doing fantastic uh, look at the colors in these things they are just beautiful they are just beautiful i love that i got this mixed layers choice from uh, mcmurray mcmurray um I, I, i'm really glad i didn't didn't just pick one kind or two kinds or something like that uh, having this uh uh selection is nice it's gonna make some make for a very pretty flock i think uh, like I said, this is my first flock, and we're getting there. Um, I'll show you out the window for those of you that didn't watch the long video. I actually finally got the siding on the building. Uh, I haven't cut the windows out. I do got one of the doors cut out. You can see that board sticking out at the bottom. Uh, that is, I just screwed that board back over because it's been raining, and I try to keep most of the rain out of the inside until I get it finished up, get the doors and stuff built. But that's where they will be going. I will have the the run out there next to it and everything like that. So, but it's getting there. Um, uh, we've had nothing but rain lately, and not fun. It's even supposed to rain again tomorrow. So we'll get done what we can. But I just wanted to give everybody an update and show them the babies at ten days old. And. I mean, I just can't, I, I never imagined them growing this fast. Um, that their feathers would come out as quick as they have. Look at the beautiful, look at that. That is beautiful, the coloring in these. And this one here, his little puff is getting bigger and wings are getting stronger. And these black ones, like I said, I think are the black Morans. They're getting they're awesome. Then I got one here, it looks like a, well, not that one. Uh... There, uh, looks like a little bitty pelican. <laughs> I got another one in here, sort of looks like a duck. Uh, just the colors and the way they're shaped, but they're they're definitely all chickens. But um, it's been fun so far. I mean, ten days. Um, 
The only time they really get noisy is when the lights go out at night, and that's just for a little bit until they all get settled over here under the heater and done. But um, I have a uh, this this light that I got up here uh, does not even have an on-off switch. You have to plug it, unplug it. So I actually bought a dimmer uh, plug that can be run by my phone and set on a timer. Uh, through the app and it will slowly dim the light over a period of whatever time I tell it to so uh, that's going to be a plus to help with the light that way they can find their way over here chickens uh, don't see good in the dark so uh, I think that's going to help them to not be as noisy they'll actually come over here and just go to bed and uh, the light will put itself out so it looks like they're starting to get tired. They were just fed just a minute ago, uh, well, 10 minutes ago or so, and they're starting to lay down over there. Um, they really don't use this heater all that much except for at night when they're sleeping. I mean, I expected them to be under it a bunch more. Uh, just, you know, like I said, never had them before, so I thought I'd uh, my thoughts were that they'd be under it a lot and honestly they like it over there in that corner and around here and, oh yeah and they can run fast they are quick I mean, wow and if you want to hear them get noisy all I gotta do is stick my hand in there so, usually oh, they're, I guess they're used to me right now normally I first come in they, they, they chirp a bit and then they're like oh okay it's just him <laughs> All right, just thought I'd, like I said, I'd show you guys uh, 10 days, They're 10 days old. We got a couple little hand bones here that like the camera. And this little black one right here, he loves to, or she loves to climb up in my hand and just sit there. I don't know why, but I guess this is gonna be my buddy. Uh, Cause the, she always comes to me, climbs right up in my hand and lays down, just likes to sit there. So, it's pretty cool. Alright, y'all have a blessed day. And we'll see you here with the next update.